one of my favorite moves to do in Abyss the board game is to abuse this Corruptor Lord. So look at the points right now in the game. You see here uh, I've got 16, an opponent with 7, an opponent with 25 points. And uh, he's, this opponent's even got the recruiter making it, so all of my lords uh, cost two more. However, I've got something counteracting that with the treasurer making uh, it re the cost reduced by two. But uh, the thing I really want to show you here is um, how many points you can score using uh, ab abusing this corruptor's ability. It's really powerful. So uh, it will require you to have a ton of pearls to do, um, at least five. And then, so here's what you do: you build the or you you buy the corruptor, and its power is you can recruit a second lord from the court by paying five pearls instead of its normal cost. So it takes a little bit of setup to do, um, and so you'll need a ton of pearls. It's tough to get that many, but you see now the cost has been reduced to only three now because I'm paying a four squid, three squid. I'm going to recruit him right now, and then. Yep, sure, I'll affiliate the three squid. Um, won't matter because I already have a four squid. And then I can choose to recruit another lord for five pearls. So Board Game Arena sees that I have more than five pearls. It asks me that prompt. And yes, I want to do it. So we look through the different ones. Um, the Elder, I could draw three locations and place one under my control. And that would be three points. The Alchemist could... Uh, um, let me get support from the council, and then the invoker would allow me to take an extra turn. The evoker is worth eight points. Um, I can probably guarantee that a location that I draw from the elder is at least going to be worth five points. So as far as a points thing, I, I should probably do the elder. However, um, a really cool thing, and I don't want to do the alchemist for sure because I already have two lords that have a key. And it's just not time to uh, just like make those abilities go away because once I get a third key, then all three keys have to be used to create a location which will cover up the abilities of those lords. And I won't be able to have that reduced cost and get pearls as easily. So my decision really goes down to the Elder or the Invoker. Um, the Elder would give me a location without needing to lose those two abilities. But I think what I'm going to go with is actually the Invoker, which would allow me to take another turn. Now, regardless, I'm going to reduce the amount of Lords to less than, like I just barely did there, that was quick, uh, less than three. And so that gave me two extra Pearls for doing that. And now we have a refill where I'm able to purchase yet another Lord because the Invoker gave me an extra turn. So here is what I'm going to do. I want to quickly end the game. I'm, I'm at an advantage with four Lords and four Pearls and 30 points. So what can I do to do that, really? Um, the Hunter would be great. It's worth six points, and it would steal a random monster token from an opponent. Um, and I think that is what I'm going to go with. Um, Either that or the Apprentice or the Miller. The Miller would be 10 points. 2, 4, 5, 6, and then uh, I would need 2 Pearls to finish the Miller. So that's 10 points, or do I want the Hunter to steal some points from my poor friend Bob? Probably not a good idea because Bob's just hurting already. I don't want to make an enemy. Um... And that might just be only two points that I gained from that. My real enemy is a uh, person I'm trying to beat is washing spiders with 25 points. And that actually makes me think it'd probably be better to grab the miller. Now, mm, I think there is an argument for the apprentice because it could add a, a stack of a stack from the council, but there's each of the stacks, there's only one ally each in them. That's not going to give me very much. I'm just going to take the, the 10 points. I think that's a good call there. Two, four, and then spend two pearls. All right. So with that, I just gained three lords. Very powerful corruptor, um, especially when the invoker's sitting right next to him. And yeah, I'll, fill, I'll affiliate that seahorse for two extra points. And now I'm sitting at 42 points, two more lords to end the game. 
Um, that's just a really awesome move that you can do if you uh, prepare for it and your opponents don't stop you. Just grab that Corruptor, and luckily there was the Invoker there as well. Really cool card um, to build off of any of these other cards that allow you to get a bonus Lord. A lot of these blue cards will um, give you that ability. Um, and then I grabbed another 10 points right there, so sitting pretty there. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about that strategy. Have you ever used the Corruptor um, and been able to amass that many pearls and abuse him like that? And uh, let me know what you think about the game. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching, and take care.